The line itself takes us to the thematic modes of our presentation, the Natamara Krishna in Ritya Darshan. The rich heritage of Indian dance tradition with its contextual roots celebrate a philosophy with a convergence of several schools of philosophical thoughts. And inspired from the rich literary texts itself, these dance traditions over a period of time have grown, developed, practiced, preserved and also transitioned. Namaskar to all the Rasikas and Vidwans. I welcome you all to this special session of Natavara Krishna in Ritya Darshan where we would be discussing about various references of Krishna in the philosophical thoughts of our Indian dance tradition. And uh, we have invited a panel of artists and scholars of great eminence to speak about their views and perspectives on the respective dance styles. And personally, I feel so blessed to have the presence of uh, the great artists and scholars in this particular session and on behalf of the entire uh, team of Kalpa and also Prakti the International Dance Festival, I offer my sincere gratitude to all the gurus for agreeing to be a part of our journey of Prakti the International Dance Festival. So with this note, I welcome you all uh, once again and now I would like to invite Vidushi Kamulini Dalji to introduce this particular topic. And friends, let us take a dip into the imaginations of Krishna in Vidya Darshan. Natavara Krishna in Vidya Darshan. Bande Jagat Guru Krishna, the blue god, the blue jewel, the blue lotus, the blue color connects us to infinity. Achari Rupa Goswami, in his book Ujjwala Neelamani, which means resplendent blue jewel, quotes Leela Shuka. Leela Shuka wrote Krishna Karnamrita. From that he quotes this verse. Shringara Rasa Sarvasvam Mayura Patpicha Vibhushanam Anki Krita Narakaram Ashraye Bhuvanashrayam The one who protects this world is wearing a peacock feather. He is the epitome of Shingara Rasa. The peacock feather represents all Rasas. He has taken willingly this Manushavesha, this human form. The 
subject we have given we have been given today is natavara krishna in nritya darshan natavara krishna the natavara word has been in vogue for a long time one of our dance forms was called natavari which is now kathak nritya darshan is a loaded word the philosophy of dance so let us see what is nritya nritya comes from the root nritta and natya comes from the root nata so when we call natavara krishna it is closer to natya nritya according to the shastra is bhava shrayam and natya is rasa shrayam but what we perform today is a composite form of nritya nritya and natya nataraja the king of dance gave us nritya the joy of dance with abandon and krishna filled it with bhava and rasa so nataraja and natavara one of the earlier composers of carnatic music we call him pitamah purandara das in one of his compositions writes that kapata nataka sutra dhari you are a trickster you conceive and you hide yourself and then direct this fraudulent play you hold the strings in your hand so aparadha nan alla so i am not the culprit whatever deed i am doing is only directed by you later on tyagaraj also uses the same phrase kapatanataka sutradari in a some other context for rama krishna starts his kapatanataka from the moment he appears in the jail as eighth son of devaki he gives the darshan for the parents of chaturbhuja paramatma that is shankar chakra gada padma and says that i bless you with all auspiciousness and goodness and he tells his father that wrap me like a small baby in a cloth and put me in a willow basket and take me across yamuna to rajabhumi to nanda gopas residence was it ever does the same the frets open the iron doors open and yamuna in spit also gives way to vasudeva to go to raja raja people the people who are dwelling in raja they feel that they are blessed because this is the greatest gift they have received but from the infancy to the adolescence krishna is faced with so many odds he has to kill the demons kill the rakshasa sent by kamsa to actually kill krishna but krishna kills all of them to protect the world so that is the kapata nataka krishna plays he rolls the maya that is a transcendental creative energy and blinds the people who are watching all these things and they treat him as an ordinary boy for a moment they feel that, oh my god who is this boy but it's gone his friends even call him names chaliya chor dhit all that and krishna enjoys kaliya remember that kaliya dance which everyone loves to perform he 
quells the pride of Kaliya, the serpent, multi-hooded serpent. He puts one foot on one hood and crisscrosses the another foot on another hood and dances in joy. The people who are watching from the banks of Yamuna are awestruck. What is this boy doing? But the moment the act is over, he jumps off and goes with others, hopping and jumping like a small boy, to Nanda's place. Such is his act. The highest exploits, amorous exploits which Krishna plays is in Vrindavana. Vrindavana was a wilderness. But when he steps in and plays his flute, all the trees start blooming and there are creepers and blooming bowls. It is like a celestial garden. The animals come running to him because he is playing the flute, mesmerizing, enchanting flute. And gopis and gopas come to him, leaving all their duties and whatever behind. He plays with them and rejoices. Based on this, in Srimad Bhagavata we find Maharasa, which is the highest philosophy, wherein Krishna multiplies himself as many gopis as there are, there are Krishnas. He holds each gopi and dances with them. If there are thousand gopis, there are thousand Krishnas. And each gopi feels that I am in union with Krishna. Based on this, a very beautiful prabandha has been written by Jayadeva, Gita Govinda. I am not going to expand on that because we all know. And that is a game changer in the Krishna Leela. And it is living even today. We all perform and so many poets have written based on Krishna Leela of Jayadeva, that is Gita Govinda of Jayadeva. The highest act which Krishna did was the Gita Upadesha. In the midst of the war zone. Again, coming back to Nritya Darshan, or I would like to say Natya Darshan. Well, I'm just pointing five things from Natya Darshana which places Krishna in the center of the act as the greatest of dancer, as the greatest of actor. He teaches us impermanence, like the Ranga. The Ranga tells us nothing is permanent, you do your role and go. Krishna just does that. He teaches us harmony, love and no hatred. Ranga does the same thing. Whoever you are performing with, you forgive the little mistakes one does and even the fights you have and you leave the Ranga Mandapa and go and have coffee or whatever. So it's done. Well, I'm going to take a few lines from the first chapter of Nati Shastra. Dharma, Dharma Pravritana. Those who seek Dharma get Dharma from Gita Upadesha, which is discussed, interpreted. People try to live Gita Upadesha even today. Kamo Kamo Pasevita. Those who seek desire from Natya, Krishna shows the unalloyed love, the highest standard of love. And then, Nigraho Durvinitana. Those who are impertinent, Krishna shows the way. You can see Shishupalavada. And then, Mattana Damanakriya. The arrogant people are shown how they have to be crushed. 
You can see that in Govardhana Leela. Klivanam Dashta Jananam. People who become important, though they are valorous like Yarjuna, become Kliva. He brings back the valor. Abudhana Vibodhanam. Those who are innocent, he gives the knowledge of Gita to them also. Like us. Vaidushyam Vidushamapi. Those who are already knowledgeable like Uddhava is given higher knowledge. There are many Vrindavanas, not just the Mathura and Mysore. Mysore is of course man created. There are many, many zillions of Vrindavanas which you create, you as dancers create in the Ranga. You make the creepers, you make the flowering bowers, you show the breeze coming, experience the breeze and hold the fruit and take a dribanga. Krishna is already shining in you. You are the gopis. You are the, you are Radha. You are Krishna. All of them dance with you. You dance with them. And your mind, body and soul is resplendent with beauty. Krishna, a beautiful subject to really talk about. Krishna is really the favorite of almost every dancer in every style. I'd like to talk about my own personal journey with this fabulous, endearing deity called Krishna. Well, deity, no, no, not a deity. He's often a friend, he's often a beloved. He is often the one you turn to for everything. Uh, unlike Shiva, who is aloof, who is a little scary, Krishna is the one who is always there for you. You can talk to him, you can play with him. So I think I began my journey with Krishna in my first class with Swarna Saraswati Amma when I was doing the Margam and the Shabdam is the first piece where I encountered Krishna. And the whole Abhinaya process begins from there. So I guess that was my beginning where, uh, you know, this is this beautiful Shabdam, Sarasi Jakshuru, Jalakamate, where Sarasi Jakshuru, it starts from there. Sarasi Jakshuru is lotus eye. So all the imagery, the play, everything starts from there. And as I proceeded, I learned many Padams and Javalis uh, one notes were largely in the Tanjavur Quartet, which were dedicated to Shiva, actually. And hence the other pieces, many of them, in the Nayaka, Nayaki, Bhava, particularly Kshetragnya, the Mubha Gopala Padams, were also beautifully taught to me by Swarna Saraswati Amma. As I proceeded, of course, I went on to many more teachers, and each of them brought lovely pieces into the uh, Bharatanatyam repertoire. Tamil pieces from Bharatiyar, from Bhutukad, Venkatasubayar, all enriched the dance form and each had so many beautiful facets to it. Then I came to Srimadhi Yamuna Krishnan, who at that time was working on Surda, Smira and Vidyapati. And that opened up a whole new area of work and of uh, beautiful poetry that I cherish and which then took me to my senior fellowship, which was on Haveli Sangeet and the whole tryst with Vrindavan, Radhe Radhe. That opened up the Ashtayam Seva, the Ashtachap Kavis, and I, I did a lot of work in reading and trying to interpret many of them in my style. Even in the group work, I had used the Ras, which is the beautiful Maharas that Krishna actually 
choreographed for all of us uh, on a moonlit night, Sharad Purnima, and his beautiful playing of the flute, the gopis, and the, uh, I think the whole thing of him being alive with us. You wouldn't eat before you offered to Krishna. You wouldn't sleep before putting him to sleep. All those beautiful things every day, the dincharya, as they say, was, it began and ended with Krishna. And that beautiful Ashtayam Seva and the Ashta Chapkavis, how they reacted to it, was so beautiful for me personally and so gratifying because each season they had poetry, each festival they had beautiful poetry, and of course, different times of the day when Krishna came back, Godhuli, there was beautiful poetry. So I think this whole um, saga of actually creating the Srimad Bhagavat, which is the mool, the, the, the basic fountain of all the Leelas and Krishna and his whole uh, journey uh, and how each poet has taken from there and then reinterpreted it. It's all so beautiful. And I think uh, this is an eternal quest and an eternal journey. But of course, there are some pieces which are extremely close to you and they, it has traveled with me maybe for the last 40 years. And one such piece is Krishnani Beganibaru, which I learned maybe when I was nine with Swarna Sarsatyama and then watched many stalwarts do it. And um, when I was working on Anekanta, which was a project that I did, which is very, again, very close to my heart, where we talk about multiple truths and multiple realities and truths not being absolute. Uh, here I took this piece and I just interpreted it in three different ways. Yashoda calling Krishna because the first line just says, Oh Krishna, come to me quickly. Begane Baru. So it could be the beautiful gopis calling Krishna in a Sringara way or it could be the bhakta yearning for that one glimpse of Krishna and calling him. So do enjoy this composition Krishna Nibhagane Paro in three different moods.
ശ്രീ ഗുരു നമഹ നമസ്തെ ടു വൺ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ മൈ സിൻസിയർ ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ടു ദ ഓർഗനൈസേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്രാബ്ജ്യോതിഷ ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ഡാൻസ് ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽ ആൻഡ് മൈ സ്പെഷ്യൽ താങ്ക്സ് ടു അന്വേഷ ശ്രീമതി അന്വേഷ ഫോർ ഗിവിംഗ് മീ ദ ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ടു ഷെയർ മൈ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഫ്രം വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഗ്രേറ്റസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസിക്കൽ ഡാൻസസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ കഥകളി അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു അവർ ഇന്ത്യൻ പുരാണാസ് ആൻഡ് ഇപ്പിക്സ് ലോർഡ് ശിവ ഈസ് റെസ്പെക്ടഡ് എസ് നടരാജ ദി കിങ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ലോർഡ് ശ്രീകൃഷ്ണ എസ് നടവ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഡാൻസർ ഹി ഈസ് ദ എംബോഡിമെന്റ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആർട്സ് ഷോഡശ കല എ പൂർണാവതാരം ഹാവിങ് സോരഹവും കലയെ from his birth onwards he started his leela birth in the jail while parents were prisoners death by an arrow of an ignorant hunter what astonishing maya he had in his life as a dancer his first performance might have been in the alley or gedi of gogul in front of the gobis for more butter they tempted him by tasty butter and make him made him dance in front of them the most grateful delicate graceful and beautiful dance with his tender feet and limbs emotions here are impossible to define for the elders it was parental love for the young gobis romantic and towards friends of his age friendship and for the cattle and pigeons as the savior bhumi devi must have been thrilled with the touch of his tender feet lord krishna's valor was seen at a tender age victorious dance on the hoofs of the most poisonous snake kaliya with his new fruit as the accompaniment ornaments being his friends paid relatives and the cattle shri krishna's most famous dance is on the banks of river yamuna in the vrindavana accompanied by his own divine fruit along with melodious songs and rhythmic clapping of gobis the young maidens of gobul and of course the celestial drumming from the heaven his life was totally natyam avasthan gurur natyam whatever happens in the world is imitated in natyam and till eternity in his in, in this universe there have been no such a great dancer actor in any mythology epic or folklore the themes of most of the art forms across in india the literature music dance drawing painting sculpture are mainly on <coughs> shri krishna's story and kathakali also cannot be an exception kathakali is a highly stylized traditional dance drama originated from a folk theater form named Tamanatam and later on attained classical status through varied experiments, innovations and stylization, stylizations. Along with Ramayana stories from Mahabharata and great Indian epic Bhavad Purana were used for Kathakali stories. As a dance drama in Kathakali, there are no dancers on the stage, only the characters. the ahaya costumes and makeup and attributes are so colorful beautiful and at the same time it helps to depict the characters qualities described in the epics in the almost in the same manner that we have been visualizing him all along with yellow robes blue upper portion peacock feather crown vanamala and carrying fruit ponsel and divine this varshana and arrow and bow and horse feet 
as per the situation in the story being enacted. Many of the plays have Sri Krishna as a character, but according to Kathagali, Kathagali tradition, Sri Krishna has never been considered as a leading role. Adhyavasana Vesha, only minor, Kutitaram or medium roles, Adhatharam roles. There are many Kathagali stories in which Sri Krishna is presented, such as Kramiravatam, Yugni Samaram, Rajasuyam, Jayalavrutam, Subhadra Haranam, Diryodhanavadam, Aragasvadam, etc., etc. In all these Kathagali stories, the interesting thing is the main characters are someone else, not Sri Krishna. According to Kathagali tradition, on the Kathagali tradition, the first performance of the students are them is as Sri Krishna, but not in the end of the training as other dance forms, but in the beginning after learning the preliminaries and few minor roles. My first performance also was as Sri Krishna in the year 1956. At even today, at even today, I am always excited and thrilled to perform Sri Krishna's role. Why Sri Krishna is not considered the main character? Bhavas are divided in two categories: positive, Singaram, Asyam, Viram, Adhram, and As and Karunam, Raudram, Viram, Bhayanaga as negative. We cannot imagine Sri Krishna crying, and he was never scared of anyone or anything. In Kathagali, both negative and positive are equal important. That may be the reason why Sri Krishna will not consider as the main role. Though he is presented as the savior in most of the important Kathagali plays, he is seen as the as Vasudeva, the Lord of Universe, and we see the divine side of him. Yet there have been new attempts from traditional mythology stories bring about more interest and appreciation for playing Sri Krishna's character. Yidopadesham was com- composed in the previous generation for Kathagali, and my guru, Patmashi Kirupadam Kumaranarasa, choreographed and taught it. I perform this and also teach my students. This thought item became very popular in, and, um, in India and abroad. A 
ऐसे एन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स माय गुरु कोरियोग्राफ ए फुल फ्लड कथली दशावतारम बेस्ड अपॉन द फेमस सेन पोइट जेवास फर्स्ट अष्टपदी प्रलय प्रयोधि जले इन दिस ही कोरियोग्राफ द वेरी ब्यूटीफुल ग्रुप डांस ऑफ फोर गोबीज प्लस राधा एंड फाइव कृष्णास and it was really spectacular it was presented in front of respected dignitaries such as then honorable honorable president of india shri neelam sanjeev reddy rasakela was composed by someone for kathagali but according to my knowledge nobody ever choreographed or performed it i tried to revive and restore it but it was not fitting into the kathagali medium especially for the modern stage and present generation i composed a new kathagali play a very short one namely radha madhava choreographed and presented it in with the it, it and with the blessings of my guru in a short time became a much sought after play all over india request of some of the senior mohiniyattam dancers this radha madhavam is also being presented as jugal bandi or confluence item on different stages such as khajuraho krishna gana sabha dasya academy and so on adding more characters it makes more color experience from vidobadesham deshavadaram and radha madhava my opinion 
is that we can explore Sri Krishna's character and create composition on Sri Krishna for a good addition to the traditional Kathali reporter. I expect such attempt from the present generation. Once more, I thank for giving me the opportunity. Namaste. very delighted to be part of this whole uh, experience. It is uh, just sharing my own experience as a Mohini Atam explorer. And uh, so uh, it, uh, I actually, as a performer, it's so much easier to depict something, the emotional uh, aspects of uh, Krishna. And to speak about it is very, very challenging for me, I must confess. But uh, it's, uh, you know, one of my, through, uh, I mean, throughout my journey, I have been engaged in uh, a project which began, which was initiated by Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay, uh, when she was the then chairman of Sangeet Natak Academy. I was very, very fortunate to uh, uh, work with uh, a person a theater personality and authority in the folk arts and, uh, uh, you know, the traditional arts of Kerala. So it was a very, very, uh, it was a great blessing for me to work with him. And so he actually initiated me into uh, looking at the various uh, regional traditions of Kerala. And uh, so that way it was easier to uh, uh, reconstruct the repertoire, the format, the very basics of Mohini Atam. And uh, so it was uh, a very, uh, uh, it was a revelation, I would say, because uh, everything looked so very uh, beautiful. I mean, so, uh, I mean, it, it was a, a very, uh, uh, revealing, uh, you know, experience for me to see the various regional traditions of Kerala, how much can be drawn from the, these regional traditions and uh, to, to, to enrich Mohini Atam, the way I was, uh, uh, you know, envisioning for this dance form. And so uh, during that time, I did uh, go through uh, several uh, of the... Uh, uh, re, the, like the musical tradition, for example, uh, was the first to, uh, you know, uh, make a mark on the uh, on the Gita Govindam, the traditional uh, way it was sung in the temples of Kerala, and the Sopana Sangeetam, as they call. And it was a beautiful uh, experience because. Krishna, as a, a dancer, is not only in isolation that he was celebrated, but also as uh, in the, not only in the temples, but, you know, more on the stage, if you see. The dancers have given, celebrated him more than what is being, uh, you know, he is celebrated in the temples. And so in every style of dance that you see, Every style of classical dance that you see, she, not, uh, 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 the, the, the dancing Krishna is a must in the repertoire. And uh, so I felt, why not in Mohini Atam too? So it was this time that uh, it gave me an opportunity to um, interact with the, the uh, various uh, Sopana traditions of Kerala. And I found the Guruvayur temple in particular very, very uh, useful and very, uh, you know, it was uh, uh, noteworthy because I felt it would uh, really lend itself to the, the, the beauty of Mohini Atta, the dance and the music. So that way we worked on the entire um, uh, Gita Govindam, uh, certain very important uh, 
particular aspects of uh, the Gita Govindam. And we, uh, I choreographed it into the, what is called, what we call it as Deva Gita. So there uh, Krishna is, uh, of course, in Guru Vayur, he's uh, celebrated uh, as uh, in Krishna Natam and uh, you know, the entire life uh, story of Krishna is enacted all the f few days. But in, in Mohiniyatam, we only took the Bhakti Shringara aspect, the essence of Bhakti Shringara. And so uh, it was uh, a very lovely, beautiful, very, very beautiful experience for me to choreograph that because mostly you know, what I was trying to reach out to the audience, uh, to the art lovers in various uh, 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 sections of the audience, that it was only through my choreographic compositions. It was mostly through choreo choreography that I was able to establish my very uh, uh, belief in what I was looking for in Mohini Atom and how I thought of it so differently from the usual. Uh, so it was very enriching experience for me to um, draw from this musical ex uh, musical tradition. And so the Sopana system of music, which uh, helped me to uh, imbibe the very Bhakti Shringara, the essence of Bhakti Shringara. And uh, so uh, it, it was very, uh, it gelled it, it, it very beautifully with the Lassia of Mohini Adam. So it was a lovely experience even to go and, and even we were invited to perform at the Mel Patur Auditorium in Guru Ayur during the Utsava time, during the festival time. The other uh, experience for me was when uh, a while exploring the various, uh, it was the literary traditions of Kerala, where I did find a beautiful um, uh, a composition of uh, Tunjat Eritachan, where uh, Tunjat Ramanujam Eritachan is known as. And uh, he was he was all known as Aitachan because he was a father of Malayalam letters. So that is why he's called Aitacha. And uh, so uh, it, it just describes when uh, Shalya, he was the, the charioter of Karna, when they enter uh, Kurukshetra. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the thick of the battle, he sees a, huge, a, a beautiful, a, a small form of Krishna. And he being a, such a devotee of Krishna, and he explains, he, he depicts, you know, the various, uh, the, the, the um, uh, Navarasa, you know, the entire uh, Kesha Padam of Krishna, right from his Kesha to the Padam father to his feet and so he describes every little aspect of Krishna and that really was a very beautiful uh, thing to depict the various rasas that we use in Mohini Atam or even in classical dance. So it was um, the, the, like uh, the, 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 how he it just uh, reflects the human emotions, as a human, how Krishna reacts to the downtrodden and how he, he is an amorous lover in, uh, with the gopis. And so in his various, uh, you know, roles, he, he is depicted in that poem. So <coughs> that was, a, sorry, <coughs> that was another beautiful experience for me. And the, uh, the other one was Changamburya's Krishna Pillai. Uh, he, he uh, this again, Changamburya's was is a very um, lovely experience in the sense that generally we, we depict Radha as a young lover. And, uh, you know, adorning herself or adorning Krishna, they are in love and they the, the love play of Krishna and Radha. But here, the poet treats Radha past her prime. So she is past her prime. 
and she enters a garden and she just uh, visits with her, her friend and uh, she sees the, she's lost in her own thoughts with in, with krishna and uh, Ma, malini her friend says see how beautiful the vasanta vasanta is the the spring the spring is so beautiful look at the flowers blooming everywhere oh it's so beautiful everything so radha is not radha is totally disturbed she is not disturbed at all she is lost in deeply in her thoughts and she says are those the same flowers as i was enjoying with krishna or is it the same vasantotsavam is it the same um, spring season that i was with krishna so she was she is lost in her thoughts and um, and her friend declares her insane it says it is insane because the friend uh, she represents the uh, world it, at the worldly level she is not able to understand the 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 higher level the spiritual level of radha and so she is unable to uh, comprehend what, what exactly is wrong with her friend that she is not relating to these uh, her surroundings so it is that which really appealed to me because it is the spiritual connect that radha has with krishna but she is totally lost and she is very confident because the friend says that she she rebukes her she says you are so stupid that boy that one uh, krishna that you are talking of you are lost in his thoughts he is he was a cowherd at one time he was your one time friend but today he is a you he is a very well known king in dwarka so he wouldn't even recognize you how would you what what, what are you fooling yourself around but radha is all very firm and firmly she 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 just uh, thinks of her krishna and she 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 says no i know for sure that when i want him when i call him krishna is there for me and that's what happens because when she she just thinks of him so intensely that krishna appears and they have a communion so they they just are in a union and she flirts with him and then she goes back to her radha the young girl, girl and and then they just have a, a, a un, they, they are in love i mean so for which the friend says that it is she she's gone mad she the, 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 she's gone mad but she is totally oblivious of what is happening around her and she is lost in her thoughts and in communion with uh, krishna so that was most beautifully uh, depicted by changambara and i thought that could be done in uh, mohini atam so these are the you know that so far we have worked on the three <laughs> compositions but uh, it is nice to explore the literary traditions of kerala which has helped i'm sure i i would be getting some more if i look for it uh, you know more seriously but it was not just in isolation literary tradition or the musical tradition in general the le- regional tradition so it could be anything that would inspire uh, uh, mohini atam to you know choreograph something like that so it was uh, it's a journey which is continuing adi e onusthanam loi praktik khoilire ji sokol guru sthaniya byakti sokol yan gut khaise সকল রীতি মানে আন্তরিক শ্রদ্ধা জানাইছো আজি আমি ইয়াত যখন কথা আলোচনা করি এই মূল কথাখিনি আলোচনার বিষয়ট মূল বন্ধুবর ডক্টর প্রদীপজ্যোতি মহন্তরে মোক ইংরাজিত কই যাব কারণে মানে অনুরোধ জানাল মহাপুরুষ শ্রীমন্ত শঙ্করদেব আর শ্রী শ্রী মাধবদেবে প্রথম সত্র প্রতিষ্ঠা করে সেই সত্রসমূহ 
সত্রর পরিবেশ সত্রর নিয়ম নীতি তার যে সংস্কৃতি আজি প্রায় পাঁচশো বছর অধিক কাল সেই জীবন্তভাবে বর্তমান সত্র সমূহে রক্ষা করে আছে তা গীত পদ নাম প্রসঙ্গ ভাওনাকে আদি করে যুগে ব্যবহার করে আছে এই সমূহর ভিতর সদায় ইষ্টদেব হিসাবে চিন্তা করে ভগবান শ্রীকৃষ্ণদেব অন্য নাচত যে ধরনে শিবক নটবর হিসাবে ব্যবহার করে নটরাজ নটরাজ হিসাবে ঠিক তে সত্রিয় নাচত নটবর হিসাবে কৃষ্ণদেব মান্য করে আর সেই সেইখিন কথা মহাপুরুষ শঙ্করদেবে বরগীতটো লিখিছে আর অন্য আমার পিছর সকল গুরু সকল লিখিছে যে বরগীত লিখিছে নিন্দিনত বর মূর্তি মনোহর শ্যাম মদন গোপাল আর সেই কৃষ্ণদেব বাল্যকাল যেটা বৃন্দাবন গোপ গোপবালকর সহিত বৃন্দাবন গুড় চরাবলে গেছিল তাত যা বিভিন্ন নৃত্য করেছিল গালীর ঘর লোন চুরি খুব খা কালীর হ্রদ গিয়ে কালীর ক্ষীরত নৃত্য করা ইত্যাদি বিভিন্ন ধরনের এই নৃত্যবিল হিন্দু সমাজখানে নতবর উপাধি প্রদান করেছে আর নতবর হিসাবে প্রখ্যাত হয়ে আছে আর সত্রসমূহে সেই নতবর হিসাবে মান্য করে শ্রীমন্ত শঙ্করদেব আছে যে বস্তু শ্রী শ্রী মাধবদেব হ্যাভ লিভ বিহাইন্ড হিউজ রেঞ্জ অফ আর্টস ইন ডিফারেন্ট ওয়েজ হুইচ ইজ নাও কল সত্রিয়া অ্যান্ড ইন এন্টায়ার রেঞ্জ অফ সত্রিয়া আর্টস কনস্টিটিউটিং অফ মিউজিক ডান্স থিয়েটার স্কালচার পেইন্টিং অ্যান্ড সো অন ওয়ের এভার উই লুক কৃষ্ণা ইজ দি প্রিজাইডিং ডেটি There is only a philosophical view of Natagara Krishna is considered to be the way in which Nataraja is considered to be the, uh, the, the god of dance. In the same way, Krishna is considered here as the Natagara. So, Natagara Krishna is the presiding deity, not only in terms of uh, the head of the divinity or pursuit of faith, but at the same time, he is also the embodiment of the entire range of arts. So where, whatever we call, uh, whether we talk about music, whether we talk about theatre, whether we talk about painting, each and everywhere, practically speaking, Krishna is always a uh, deity. In that way, there is always a philosophy of dance centering around Natavara Krishna. যদি সৃষ্টি করে থ গল ভাওনাকে আদি করে বা লিখনিবিল লিখনি যে এই নাই এই নহে যে শিবক যে প্রাধান্য দিয়া নাই সে নয় লিখনি কীর্তন হরমোহন বলে একটা চেপ্টারে আছে তথাপিও ব্রহ্মা বিষ্ণু মহেশ্বর এই তিনুর ভিতর বিষ্ণুকে এই সত্রিয়া লাইনটে মূল বলে গণ্য করে অল কৃষ্ণ ইজ দা ইউনিটি অফ গড হেড ফর ডিভিনিটি সুপ্রিম বাট এট ইজ সেম টাইম ইটস নট লাইক দ্যাট নতরা শিব ইজ দি সিগার্ডেন নট ওনলি দ্যাট ইভেন ইন হিজ ম্যাগনাম ওপাস কীর্তন দের ইজ এ এক্সক্লুসিভ সেকশন এন্টাইটেল এজ হরমোহন দ্যাট ওয়ে দি ট্রিনিটি অফ ইন্ডিয়ান ইন্ডিয়ান থিওলজি ট্রিনিটি অফ ইন্ডিয়ান ফিলসফি ব্রহ্মা বিষ্ণু রুদ্র ইজ ইকুয়ালি ইকুয়ালি সলিসিটেড ইন দি এন্টায়ার রেঞ্জ অফ পার্সেন্ট অফ ফেথ হাউ এভার দেয়ার ইজ উইদিন কৃষ্ণ ইজ দ্য সুপ্রিম গড কৃষ্ণ ইজ দ্য সুপ্রিম এক্সপ্রেশন অফ ডিভিনিটি সত্রিয়া যদি নাচ সত্রিয়া নৃত্য হিসাবে যদি চলি আছে বর্তমান এই নৃত্যটো মহাপুরুষ দুজনায় সৃষ্টি করে থ যাওয়া আর সেই পরম্পরাভাবে আদি কূপ্রতি সত্রসমূহে প্রচার আর প্রসার করে আছে 
কিন্তু সেই নৃত্যটো সকল ক্ষেত্রতে তোমার নৃত্য কৃষ্ণর বিষয়েহে ভগবান কৃষ্ণর বিষয়েহে সকল মহাপুরুষে দিয়া যদি সম্পদ আছে যদি সম্বল আছে সেইখান লোহে সত্রিয় নৃত্য পরিচালিত হয়ে আছে তার বাইরে শিব বন্দনা গণেশ বন্দনা সরস্বতী বন্দনা আদি করে এই বন্দনাবিল সত্র সমূহ করা নহয় এই পরম্পরা নাই গতি কৃষ্ণ বন্দনা করে গুরু বন্দনা করে আর গুরু সকলে লিখা মহাপুরুষ দুজনা গুরু লিখনির যখন সম্বল আছে বরগীতকে আদি করে অঙ্ক গীত ভাগবত পুরাণকে আদি করে যিনি লিখি থ গেছে তার আধারতে সত্রিয় নৃত্য তো প্রচার আর প্রসার করে কৃষ্ণ নৃত্য মানে আগত অকল উনুকে গেছিল 
যেটা গালির ঘর গই কৃষ্ণের তেনে সর অবস্থা গালির ঘর লোন চুরি করে খাইছিল সেই লোন চুরি করে খাওয়া গালিয়ে ধরলে ধরে পেল নাচিবলে লাগাইছে যে তুমি নাচা এটা খাবলে দিও আর আমি এরি দিও নাচিছে যে তাক থানি তাক থানি তাক থানি তাক থানি তাক থানি এনেকে কৃষ্ণ ভঙ্গী আর সত্রিয়ার মুক্তর কৃষ্ণ ভঙ্গী তো হয়েছে এই আমার নিজ হস্ত নাম শ এই কোয়া হয় আর ইয়ার বাহিরেও মহাপুরুষ বিদ্যনাথ গুরে যাটক তৈরি করেছে দুইজনে ছখন ছখন নাটক তৈরি করেছে সেই নাটক প্রধান চরিত্র হয়েছে সূত্রধারীর পিছতেই কৃষ্ণ প্রবেশ করে কৃষ্ণ প্রবেশ করলেহে অন্যান্য কাহিনী আহে বা অন্যান্য যখন ভাওরিয়া প্রবেশ করে গতি প্রত্যেক রাম রামর হলে রামর প্রবেশ আর কৃষ্ণর হলে কৃষ্ণর প্রবেশ In the Mathya Kharaj, new trainees, new learners are taught about the hand gestures, who talks, and also the innate uh, sense of bhakti uh, inherent in the entire tradition. Uh, coming from the Mathya Kharaj, when you come to dance uh, as such, practically it starts with invocation of Krishna. As you say, uh, the, the, there is a specific uh, hand gesture expressing the idea of Persona of uh, Lord Krishna and through it it starts. So when you refer to the uh, Ankhya Nath Bhavana, Srimana Sankaradeva and Sri Srimana Sankaradeva left behind six uh, plays by each of them and each and every play practically starts with the, uh, with the Sutra Dhar and then it goes to the entry of uh, Krishna. Krishna enters the uh, playgoers, enters, enters the, uh, I mean the, uh, the, the acting space uh, in dance and all, that also is practically speaking a prayer to Krishna. Again, uh, when the Sutradhara enters or all other characters in, enter, practically uh, each and every character uh, invokes, pays obeisance to the Lordship of, to the divinity of Krishna. That way, when you see around the entire range of Satriya tradition, uh, particularly in dance and theatre, it is the uh, character of Krishna, or the philosophical view of Krishna, which is always permanently present. Satriya Nitya Git Vaitya Ko Ba Bhavna Khabaya Ko Aru Nam Prahangwa Ko মানে সত্রিয়া পরম্পরা যুগ সংস্কৃতি চলি আছে এই সমূহ বস্তুখ ভগবানের চরণত আরম্ভণি তো আর শেষ তো ভগবানের চরণত অর্পণ করিয়ে সকল কাম সমাপন করে
answer beginning in a vilambit uh, naya so he he or she uh, he starts being obeisance to the entire galaxy or entire assembly considering them to be a representation of the vaishnava spirit or vaishnava themselves and at the same time invoking uh, lord krishna and then gradually uh, he or she goes down and uh, performs various beats various um, ways various aspects of the dance finally uh, we can sum up the discussion in a way that satriya tradition of music dance and theater begins with invocation of lord krishna and ends up uh, with the submission of the uh, 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 submission to the uh, feet of the lord krishna with this we wind up the discussion on satriya part for today's session thank thanks to all of you कृष्णूपाने असंख्या वक्त अशक्त तस्मातिषूप इट इस सेट इन द वैखान स आगम दट कृष्णा फॉर्म्स आर इंडीड इन्फिनेट एंड आर बियॉन्ड एन्यूमरेशन हू एवर डिजायर्स टू वर्शिप कृष्णा कैन चूज वन ऑफ हिस् फॉर्म्स एंड डिवोट टू इट एंटायरली डेलीजेंटली एंड लविंगली फॉर दिस से Krishna is one of the only godheads who may be visualized in whatever form one desires. In today's talk I will be focusing on the various visualizations and imaginations of Krishna as depicted in the rich literature which forms the bedrock of Kuchipudi earlier known as Kuchipudi Bhagavatam. As the very name suggests Kuchipudi Bhagavatam has the Bhagavatam has its nucleus hence the leelas of vishnu and his various incarnations have time and again come alive in the kuchpuri presentations be it in the kalapams yakshaganams duets solo or the dance drama formats the vaishnava dance traditions have given importance to the narration of myths and leelas of vishnu and his various incarnations the dance of vishnu and his incarnations are referred to as vishnu maya or krishna leela in the bhag in the brahma sutras the maya or leela is explained as a result of the joy that springs from within consider the sampurna swarupa of mahavishnu krishna has charmed the world of dance especially kuchipudi krishna is capable of inspiring such passion because of his relatable nature and his different different aspects or different aspects sometimes as a mischievous son as a as a lover as a friend as a disciple confident a warrior a guru and the destroyer of evil forces and ultimately god the gopis become symbol of what it means to be a devotee of krishna and surrender to him who has been who has been considered as paramatma reflecting on the past we see that kuchpuri too was greatly influenced by the vaishnava bhakti movement the dashama skanda of bhagavata purana is the bedrock for the ecstatic krishna bhakti and it is infested with madness of krishna naturally mathura or shingara bhakti became central to kuchipudi the magical spell cast by krishna was so intoxicating that it gave birth to the vernacular poetry across the length and breadth of india the idea of personalization of god sparked the creativity side of the writers and poets adding wonders to the world of literature this eventually extended to the world of arts 
music, dance, theater, and both the essence of the varied literature. Thanks to the contribution of various Vagikaras and poets, Akshetraya, Annamachari, Yati Narayana Tirtha, Tyagaraja, Ramadasa, and several others whose writings has gifted us with an infinite canvas to explore in dance. When we talk of the literary works that have impacted Kuchpuri, Bhama Kalapu, scripted by Sri Siddhendra Yogi, the chief architect of Kuchpuri, occupies a prominent position. When we keenly observe the popular Kalapams in Kuchpuri, one gets to understand and appreciate the creative genius and the intellect of Kuchpuri gurus who have, en who have encapsulated deep philosophy within the dramatic and entertaining presentations. In Bhama Kalapa, through the narration of Satya Bhama and Krishna, the gurus have emphasized on the philosophy of union of Jivatma with the Paramatma, for which complete surrender is the only way. The idea of Krishna as a husband and as the Paramatma, the ultimate, is explored through the plot which is appealing both for the mass and the class. Another very significant contribution is the Padavalis of Kshetraya from Mova, which is a neighboring village of Kuchpuri, whose Padams has lured many dancers. He saw himself as the beloved of Krishna, and in all Padams, Krishna is depicted as the Nayaka, while Kshetraya himself as the Nayaka. The spectrum of Padams provide ample scope for the dancers to explore the Ashtavida avastas and the humanly emotions concerned with love. In the, in the rest of my talk, I would like to briefly take you through one particular literary work which has been unique to Kuchpuri presentation, Sri Krishna Leela Tarangini by Yati Narayanathi. As a choreographer and dancer, I feel that this work provides ample scope for a dancer to explore the various facets of Natuvar Krishna, the dancing Krishna. Sri Krishna Leela Tarangini is one of the distinctive works that rose in the wake of the Gita Govindam of Sri Jayadeva and may be acclaimed as the only one among such works to have gained a comparable musical status. Through a total of 12 tarangas, encompassing 153 gitas, 302 shlokas, and 31 chunikas, this masterpiece is the longest Sanskrit opera, inspired by the Dashamaskanda, the, the Dashamaskanda of uh, Srimad Bhagavata. It begins with the incarnation of Lord Krishna and ends with the Rukmini Swayamvara. Numerous episodes are embodied in memorable stanzas and the entire presentation is intended to elevate the soul. Almost every Leela in Krishna's life is associated with dance. In, this childhood, in his childhood, as we all know, even his crawl is described as a dance. An adolescent, Krishna and his brother Balrama are found dancing in many instances, often accompanied by his friends on the musical instruments. Similarly, Krishna's combat with the Asuras is also seen as a Leela, be it in the incident of Putanavadha, slaying of Aghasura, Bhakasura, or Kaya Mardana. Each of these Asuras who were killed by Krishna represented the various negative qualities of mortals. And killing of the Asuras by Krishna symbolizes the removal of these evil forces within us. For example, Bhutana symbolizes deception in the guise of Vatsalya. Aghasura, who came in the form of a demon snake, is a symbol of venom and hatred that poisons the hearts and the minds of the humans. I thoroughly enjoyed choreographing the Putanavada episode and the first time when Putana sees the little Krishna 
she is astounded to see the little child whose glittering eyes seem like the sun and the moon. And without her knowledge, Purthana feels a strong, strong sense of affection for him. And she tries, as she tries to pick him up from the cradle, she experiences a, a jolt, shock, a jolting shock run through her entire body as she starts feeding Krishna with the poison smeared round her breast with an intention to kill him. The mother in her is awoken and has put Nasaki Krishna. I've shown how in turn Krishna sucked away her life deforming every part of her body before she breathed her last. Was it moksha or vadha is left to one's own interpretation? Is this not true in our case as well? When negativity overrides us, our mind, body and emotions get derailed. Krishna Leela Tarangini is composed of introductory and link verses and prose passages called Padyam, Gadyam and songs, Gitam, Dharus, Vipadas in a variety of ragas and thalas, jatis, shalkatu also are a part of many a songs. Here is a small example of a Gadyam and Padyam embellished with shalkatus uh, and jatis which I incorporated one of it and during in my choreographies to depict the Kaliya Martana. Re re kukuta re re kukuta rang kukuta rang kukuta kalinga martana. Re re kukuta re re kukuta rang kukuta rang kukuta kalinga martana. Dhana dhana dhana. The kuku 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 chana chana chana. The kuku 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 dhana dhana dhana. The kuku 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 kuku. And it goes on like this with beautiful shalkatus interspread with the sahitya. The beauty of the Gethams mentioned in Krishna Leela Tarangini is that it can be adapted into varied presentations like a solo format, duet, group choreographies or as an entire dance drama. Narayana Tirtha has scripted the Sambhada Dharus which are conversational a song, a conversational song between Radha and Krishna which is apt for a duet presentation and is found in the fifth and the eighth Taranga. The spectrum that the song of Tarangini presents is just fascinating. The seventh Tarangam carries a Sapta Raga Tala, the Sapta Raga and Tala Malika, commencing with the Dhruva Tala, depicting or describing the Rasali Lavilasam, apt for group choreography. Dancing on the banks of Yamuna. Krishna is often seen multiplying himself in Ras so that he accompanies all the gopis. The Ras of Krishna restates the fact that he appears before you the way you desire him. The depth of the lyrics in Krishna Leela Tarangani is so much so that even a single line of a Gitam or a Shloka can, be, can itself be a choreography, a full length piece. Uh, I remember that I just took one line of the shlokam which reads Krishna Krishna Kripa Sindhu Bhakti Sindhu Sudhakara taken from the a, a line taken from the eighth shloka of the first tarangam and the choreography went on to nearly 15 minutes. The words lead to imagination, imagination and creativity with the shastras can create wonders. As a Kuchpuri dancer, the Gitams from Tarangam being the de-resisted piece, I have been fortunate to work on many. But I feel that one can never claim the authority of an interpretation, for much more has already been explored by our predecessors. I wish that the various imaginations and descriptions of the Natuvar Krishna as mentioned in this magnanimous work of Narayana Tirtha 
can be explored a lot more by dancers of various forms. Like Sage Markandeya explains, the qualities that we admire in a divine being are within us. And when we worship the images that personify such attributes, we awaken those divine aspects within us. I truly hope that this initiative taken by Kalpa in collaboration with the Cree Foundation Galaboda will inspire and stimulate the creativity and depths of many aspiring dancers. Thank you. Namaste. आप सभी को मेरा सादर प्रणाम मैंने कुछ पॉइंट्स लिखे हैं जिससे कि क्योंकि समय कम है उन्हीं को बताते हुए कि किस तरह से कृष्ण और कथक का समन्वय क्या है उसके बारे में बातचीत करते हैं एज वी ऑल नो कथक हैज बीन क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद कृष्णा कथक एज एन आर्ट फॉर्म इज फॉर्म इन द अर्जुन सा उनके वनवास के वक्त का चैप्टर है महाभारत का उसमें हमें कथक का जिक्र मिलता है हम सभी जानते हैं मंदिरों से परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स की उत्पत्ति हुई है प्रारंभ हुआ है हम लोगों को कहा जाता है कि कथा कहे सो कथक कहला हम सभी कथक नृत्यकार कथाकार कहा कहे जाते हैं पहले भी कथाकार थे आज भी कथाकार ही हैं पुराने समय में कथाकार गायन वादन नृत्य नाटक शास्त्रों के ज्ञाता होते थे उसके जानकार होते थे उस समय के युग में विद्या का यही एकमात्र साधन था वेद पुराणों की कथाओं को जानने वाला शिक्षित कहलाता था पर किसी हद तक ये एक वाचिक परंपरा थी लिखित परंपरा नहीं थी एंड कथाकार वर मून एज ग्रंथिकास एट दैट and uh, the dancers they used to recite the stories from the purana from the uh, the the granthas the story of vishnu the story of krishna and uh, during this time the rich musical theater the theater form was uh, very popular krishna theater of mathura region you know had grown a lot during that time katha vachan is the earliest form of kathak which was based on the krishna story that is a fact krishna bhakti ke uh, do prakar the do is tarah se krishna bhakti ko dekha gaya hai ek hai kanta bhakti which is based on the uh, worshiping of krishna in one and there is a madhura bhakti which is worshiping radha and krishna and kathak mein madhura bhakti spasht roop se dikhai de जहाँ कृष्ण एक परमा अवतार है सुप्रीम लवर भी है तो आ, राधा जो है एक आत्मा का रूप है भक्ति काल एक स्वर्णिम युग कहा जाता है साहित्य का जहाँ अष्ट छाप कवियों का उत्तम साहित्य हमें सुनने को पढ़ने को मिलता है भक्ति काल में आ, उस युग में अष्ट छाप कवियों का उत्तम साहित्य हमें देखने को सुनने को मिलता है और कथक डांस इस डांस रिच साहित्य and poetry of this ashtap chap kavi in their recitals wo ashtap kavi hue malakha jaye se sudasi nandasi chittadasi govindasi many many poet of they, they were eight poets ashtap kavi to krishna ke bal roop ke leelaon ka varnan jo uh, surdasi ne kiya hai wo bahut hi advitiya mana jata hai unki poetry unki jo kavitaye hai wo epitome of वात्सल्य रसा कही जाती है वहीं पे जहाँ पे उन्होंने वात्सल्य रस का कृष्ण का वर्णन किया है वहीं पे सूरदास द्वारा रचित होरी रास महारास जहाँ पे राधा कृष्ण जीवात्मा और परमात्मा के रूप में नजर आते हैं वहीं पे मीरा के भजन बसो मेरे नैन में नंदलाल और लक्षण दास जी की पोटरी लट की लट की चलत मोहन आवे भावे मन अदर मुर्गी मधुर सुर सुनावे वहीं पे सूरदास कहते हैं बूझत शाम को दो बोरे जो राधा से पूछ रहा है कृष्ण को 
फिर वहीं पे सूरदास कहते हैं कि शाम तोरी बसी नेक बजाओ जोही जोही तान पहो तुम सुर में सोई सोई गाय सुनाओ ये इतना सुंदर साहित्य हमें उस भक्ति काल के अष्ट छाप कवियों में मिला जो कथक डांसर्स ने बहुत अच्छे ढंग से उसका इस्तेमाल किया और मेरे को ऐसा लगता है कि आ, आ, ये ये जो साहित्य है ये साहित्य समय के साथ साथ बदला भी वो बदला ऐसे कि हमारे कथक के साहित्य में एक बहुत सुंदर इस्तेमाल होता है ठुमरियों का तो मैं उन ठुमरियों के बारे में भी आपसे बात करना चाहूंगी जहाँ पे कृष्ण भगवान के अलग अलग रूप दिखाई देते हैं कथक में एक बहुत सुंदर अंग है हमारा जो अभिनय पक्ष में आता है जिसको हम कहते हैं ठुमरी अक्सर कथक डांसर्स ठुमरी के जरिए अभिनय पक्ष को प्रस्तुत करते हैं और अपने बहुत सुंदर सुंदर ठुमरियों का जो है हमारे गुरुओं ने लिखी हमारे यहाँ पर ठुमरी जो है एक एज आई टोल्ड दैट इट इज ए सेमी क्लासिकल वोकल रेपटवार से आती है ये बट ठुमक शब्द है तो उसमें कहीं ना कहीं एक नृत्य की झलक भी दिखाई देती है तो हमारे बिंदादीन महाराज जी ने बहुत सारी ठुमरियाँ लिखी जो कि अक्सर मुझे ऐसा लगता है हिंदुस्तान के हर डांसर ने उनकी ठुमरियों को नाचा होगा अब ब्रिजू महाराज जी ने भी बहुत सारी ठुमरियाँ लिखी और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हर डांसर ने जैसे रोहिणी भाटे जी ने बहुत सुंदर साहित्य लिखा उन्होंने भी ठुमरियाँ लिखी हर डांसर कोशिश करता है कि कहीं ना कहीं कभी ना कभी एक ठुमरी जरूर वो रचे और जैसे मैं मैं जब छोटी थी मुझे याद है वाज़ यंग गर्ल एट कथक केंद्र तो मुझे रेवा दीदी के यहाँ पर वो ठुमरी चार लाइन सीखने को अभिनय के लिए सिखाई थी डगर बिच देखो शाम कर गई यहाँ मेरे पिताजी बहुत अच्छी ठुमरी लिखते थे पंडित मोती राम जी उनकी ठुमरी मैंने बहुत नाची बाट चलत मोरी सुनेरी रंग डारी और बहुत सुंदर ठुमरियाँ हैं जो जो ट्रेडिशनल हैं जो कि ट्रेडिशनल से मैं ये कहना चाहूँगी कि जो फोक से आती हैं जैसे बनारस के फोक से ये ढूंगरी निकली है जगह डगर बिच कैसे चलो मग ठाड़ो कन्हैया दे तीर उसको बहुत अच्छे ढंग से डांसर्स डांस भी करते हैं मेरी तो बहुत ही फेवरेट है ये इसको मैं परफॉर्म करती हूँ हो तो सकेगा तो इसका एक वीडियो भी दिखाती हूँ आपको और फिर एक ठुमरी मैंने भी कोशिश की लिखने की जिसमें कि बहुत ही रोमांटिक है जिसमें वो कह रही है अपनी सखी से बात करते हुए कह रही है कि ए रे सखी अब के मैं उनको जाने ना दू आवेंगे जब सामरिया बाहों में कसू ए रे सखी अब के मैं उनको जाने ना दू तो ये जो ठुमरी है इसमें एक अलग टाइप की खनक है ठुमक है एक रोमांस है राधा और कृष्ण का बट बहुत सारी ठुमरिया विरह पे भी लिखी गई जो कि जैसे कई ऐसे गीत लिखे गए जिसमें कि कृष्ण पास में नहीं है कि न संग खेलू हो रही पिया गए परदेश मैं रह गई अकेली कि न संग खेलू हो रही और ये ये भी एक ऐसा हमारे कथक में एक प्रचलन है कि अभिनय की जो प्रस्तुति है सबसे पहले ठुमरी के रूप में हम लोग प्रस्तुत करते हैं वहीं पे एक दूसरा पक्ष हम देखने में आता है वो है कवित का कवित एक ऐसा आर्ट फॉर्म कथक में यूज होता है जिसको कि आज के टाइम के आप रैक भी कह सकते हैं तो आ, हमारे गुरुजनों ने ये कवित लिखे जो कि बहुत खूबसूरत जिसमें अंग भी था साहित्य भी था लय भी थी लय प्रधान जैसे जो भी लय चल रही है उसमें किसी एक छंद में पिरो के उन्होंने कवित लिखी है और जो कवि जो थे वो बहुत अलग अलग की लीलाओं को दर्शाते रहे जैसे कि गोवर्धन लीला हुई या कालिया मर्दन हुआ या राधा कृष्ण की पनघट की कवित बने तो जैसे न, मेरे गुरु जी ने मुझे कवित सिखाया था नदी के तट तिट कदम ध्रुम तल नट त नट वर तक था दिन त दिन दिन तक 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 अटक द्रग द्रग थे ताते धागे न धागे तिट तागे न तागे तिट छंद में भी रोया हुआ है मिश्र जाति के छंद में तो बहुत सुंदर ये कवित है ऐसे बहुत सारे मेरे गुरु जी ये कवित नाचते थे पंडित नारायण प्रसाद जी जो जयपुर घराने के थे उन्होंने बहुत सुंदर कवित की रचनाएं की हैं उनमें से एक कवित है जो गुरु जी बहुत अच्छा नृत्य करते थे वो कविता आपको थोड़ा सा सुनाती हूँ लंबे लंबे हैं सो जो कि कालिया मर्दन कि किस तरह से उन्होंने 
सरपंच को मारा था उसको डिफीट किया था सो गेंद खेल तीरत फिर तत करत छल बल कारी दे में कूद गए मार गोता नाग जी के पास जब तक पहुंच गए नागिन से कहने लगे उठाओ नाग देव को पुराने गुरु ने स्वयं लिखे कुछ साहित्य है जो हमें कवियों से मिलता है कुछ साहित्य है जो हमें डांस के गुरुओं से भी मिलता है बट मैं आपको यहाँ पे एक बात बताना चाहूंगी कथक में अभिनय की जो उत्पत्ति होती है जो अभिनय जब शुरू होता है वो उसकी फॉर्म जो है वो प्योर डांस के अंदर ही होती है हमारे यहाँ पर गत निकास नाचा जाता है गत निकास और गत भाव गत निकास की डांसर पलटा लेता है और पलटा लेके कोई भी एक पोज में खड़ा होता है तो अक्सर हमारे यहाँ जो गत निकास होते हैं वो या तो मुरली की गत हुई या घूंघट की गत हुई मटकी की गत हुई ये जो गत है मुरली की गत हुई या मोर मोर मुकुट की गत हुई जिसमें कृष्णा का मोर मुकुट दिखाया जाता है ये सारे के सारे कृष्ण और राधा से घूंघट मटकी ये एक कृष्ण और राधा को लेकर ही ये गत निकास बनाएंगे गत भाव तैयार उन गत भावों में माखन चोरी कि किस तरह से माँ यशोदा जो है वो अपना माखन पिलो रही हैं माखन निकालती हैं फिर एक मटकी में डालती हैं मटकी रख देती हैं कि कृष्ण जो है बाल आते हैं और किस तरह से वो खोल के मटकी को तोड़ के वो अपना सब पी लेते हैं तो ऐसे और कैसे कृष्णा नदी के किनारे गोपियों के वस्त्र चरण लेकर चले जाते हैं ऐसे बहुत सारे गत भाव हैं जो कि हमारे कथक नृत्य में अभिनय पक्ष में आते हैं बट उसमें कोई साहित्य नहीं होता गद्य नहीं होता सिर्फ रिधम बसता रहता है दा दिन दा ना और आर्टिस्ट जो है उसी में अपना पलटा लेता है और सुंदर सा एक पोज बना के कृष्ण का पोज बना के मटकी उठाकर या यू नो घूंघट घूंघट का पोज लेकर सुंदर सुंदर घूंघट के बहुत सारे प्रकार हुए हैं उनको लेकर जो वॉक करता है गत मीन्स गति चलना तो कृष्ण का जो ये रूप है कथक में हर फॉर्म में पूरे शुरू से लेके अंत तक उसको दिखाया जाता है और कथक हम सब जानते हैं कथक के में डांस के जो बोल होते हैं वो तो नटवरी बोल और नटवर कृष्ण को कहा जाता है कृष्ण भगवान नटवर कहलाते हैं हमारे यहाँ पर ये कहा जाता है गुरुओं ने किस तरह से इन बोलों का 
उत्पत्ति की बोल इस तरह से उत्पत्ति कहते हैं कि जब भगवान कृष्ण कालिया के उसके स्नेक कालिया के उसके हुड पे जब उन्होंने उनको डिफीट करके उस पर जब उनको पाम से मारने की कोशिश की उनको डिफीट किया तो उस वक्त उनके पाम से जो आवाजें आई द साउंड विच केम आउट ऑफ दैट दे द गुरुज इमेजिन दे विजुलाइज कि दिस टाइप ऑफ बोल मस्ट हैव कम फ्रॉम देयर लाइक ता तेट 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 त्राम ता का धुन 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 दिख दा दिख 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 दा दिख दिख तो हमारे यहां पे जो नटवरी टुकड़े हम हम उन टुकड़ों को नटवरी टुकड़े ही कहते हैं जो कृष्ण भगवान नटवर के कालिया मर्दन के वक्त जो आवाजें हुई उससे उनकी उत्पत्ति हुई आज का जो डांसर है बहुत सारी चीजें लेके चलता है आज का आधुनिक काव्य जिसको मैंने बहुत इस्तेमाल किया है जैसे धर्म वीर भारती जी की कविताएं उनकी कनुप्रिया राधा के माध्यम से इतनी सुंदर सुंदर बातें कृष्ण की धर्म वीर भारती जी ने कही है उन, उन दोनों के मनु का जो उद्गार है जो उन्होंने बयान किया है इतना खूबसूरत है मैंने अपने एक ठुमरे में उसका उसका समन्वित भी किया था मैं आपको वो सुनाना चाहती हूँ क्या खूबसूरत बात कही तो राधा वो कह रही हैं कृष्ण से कि तुम मेरे कौन हो बने कि मैं आज तक समझ क्यों नहीं पाती जब भी तुमने बंसी बजा के मुझे बुलाया है और मैं मोहित मृग से भागती चली आई और तुमने मुझे अपनी बाहों में कस लिया तो मैंने डूब कर कहा है कृष्ण मेरा लक्ष्य है कृष्ण मेरा आराध्य है कृष्ण मेरा गंतव्य है कितनी सुंदर बात की है कि तुम मेरा को को है उसको एक जगह पे वो राधा जब जमुना जल में जाती है तो वहां पर वो कह रही है कि इस दोपहर के सन्नाटे में अपने सारे वस्त्र किनारे रख जो मैं घंटों जल में निहारती हूँ तो क्या सोचते हो इस भांति में खुद को देखती हूँ नहीं मेरे सामने उसका ये कहना है कि वो जब जमुना के जल में अपने वस्त्र किनारे रख के जब वो नहा रही है उस जमुना के जल में तो वो वो फील ये करती है राधा कि वो जमुना का जल नहीं है वो तुम हो वो तुम कृष्ण हो जो चारों तरफ से उसको आगार प्रगाढ़ आलिंगन में कसे हुए उस जल में बिकॉज वो फील करती है कि वो कृष्णा है तो उसका जो पूरी बॉडी है जो उसका बदन है वेतस्लता सा कांपता है जो वेतस्लता होती है जो उसके कंपन उसका जो शेडो का जो कंपन है वो उसको कह रही है कि वेतस्लता सा कांपता तन इतनी सुंदर खूबसूरती से डॉक्टर धर्मवीर भारती जी ने वो बयान किया है इतना सुंदर लिखा है तो साहित्य और विषय 500 साल पुराना हो या आज का हो कृष्ण लीला तो एक ऐसा अभिन्न अंग है हम परफॉर्मिंग आर्टिस्ट के लिए कि जिसको कभी खत्म ही नहीं होता उससे पता नहीं लोग कैसे कहते हैं कि हम बोर हो गए कृष्ण को लीलाएं करते करते मुझे तो नहीं लगता कि ऐसा होना चाहिए तो आज का जो है ये सेशन मैं यहाँ पर खत्म करूंगी नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरी थैंक यू शास्तिवेता त 
ಕಮಾಹು ರಗ್ರ್ಯಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ಪುರಾಣ ತಮಾಹು ರಗ್ರ್ಯಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ಪುರಾಣ ತಮಾಹು ರಗ್ರ್ಯಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ಪುರಾಣ journey on life every moment is krishna i see him here there everywhere pashyati disi disi pashyati disi disi i see him everywhere and in my heart when i take that inward journey i'm merged with him i become born with him krishna 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 you have no hands no feet but you are the one who gives and who embraces me I see your footprint in the dance of a peacock the jump of a deer in the walk of a maiden you have no eyes but you see us all you have no ears but you listened when dropadi called you you rescued elephant when he cried for you Hey Krishna where will i see you how will i find you how can i ever understand you krishna krishna dekhi from Krishna's life a playful Krishna in his childhood a miracle performing adolescent Krishna a philandering young Krishna and a crestfallen Krishna in separation ಸಿ ಹಸ್ತರೆ ಸೋಬಿತ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ 
my journey continues from miracle performing adolescent krishna to rasika chudamani natanagara madhava it's a celebration of love the celebration of love is depicted by sri jayadeva in gita govinda this love is expressed aesthetically the erotic emotion with spiritual mysticism in context to bhakti cult madhura of the eternal lovers the maidens of vrindavan the gopis with the gopis krishna immersed in his love play enjoying their embraces and seductive approaches he rejoices in their company dinak din dinak din tha takitta takitta ta ta takitta dinak din dinak din tha takitta takitta ta ta takitta desperate and completely driven by passion she is sitting there immersed in Hari's thought Krishna Krishna Leave your restless pride How many times must I have told you to forgive him When he comes don't drive him away madhave ma ko 
गुरु मान मान मई सजल नलीन दल शीतल शयन सजल नलीन दल शीतल शयन हरिमिव लोकय सफल नयने
Namaskar. Manipur is a very unique place and the tradition of worship through dance and music in the temples of Manipur has been existing for thousands of years. We find this in the ancient manuscripts but it is also documented in the royal chronicle Chaitharul Kumbaba since 33 AD. Before the advent of Vaishnavism, in Manipur, that is the worship of Lord Krishna and Radha, there was animism or worship of Tantra, worship of nature, village gods and spirits and of course worship of our Lord Pakhanga. It was in the 15th century in the reign of King Kiamba that the first temple to Lord Vishnu was dedicated and here the first puja was performed with Sankirtana and the playing of symbols. But it was in the reign of Raja Bhagyachandra that the whole state of Manipur became Vaishnav because the king himself became a Vaishnav. Raja Bhagyachandra dedicated a grand temple to Lord Krishna and Radha. And on this very, very auspicious occasion, the first Ras Leela was performed as worship. It is said that it was the Maharas based on the verses of Srimad Bhagavat. I would like to show you a small excerpt from the Maharas as it is uh, performed or as it is dedicated as worship today. And this tradition has been passed down all these years and it was really an immense honor for me to have participated in this worship some years ago. So this is a small excerpt from the Maharas where the deity of Krishna and Radha are brought to the center of the Mandava and we all come around the deity to offer our worship through our dance and music. <laughs> In the later years, there were other Ras Leelas too which were composed and which were dedicated as worship. For example, the Vasanta Ras which is dedicated at the time of Holy Spring. Then came Kunja Ras in autumn and Nitya Ras is dedicated or can be dedicated at any time of the year and Diva Ras which is a very recent addition in the last century. But there is also 
the Sansenba, the Goshtalila or Ulukul Ras, which where the stories of Bal Krishna, the child Krishna, are described and are performed. This is very interesting and I would like to show you some images and a little a small piece from the Goshtalila, which is again dedicated in the time of uh, uh, winter, which is in December. The Goshtalila is very colorful because here you have your depictions of Nani Churi, uh, uh, Kalyadaman, Bakasurvat, and all these uh, wonderful Leela of uh, Bal Krishna. The unique feature here is that dance and music in Manipur is woven into the lives of the people. It is a social need for them to worship through dance and music. Therefore, it is still a living tradition. Even today in these seasons, if you go to Manipur, you can see these traditions happening. And it, has, it is a social need. It's a need of uh, people to express their devotion or their personal wishes and desires. For example, if a lady wants is, has not been able to give birth to a child, she will make a promise that if I get a child, then uh, when he or she is seven or eight years old, I will make him or her Krishna in the Ras Leela, or he will take the part of Krishna in the or she will take part of the Krishna in the Ras Leela. So this is a very interesting aspect. It's a social need. It is, a, it is woven. The tradition of worship is woven with the people or the lives of the people of Manipur. In the Sri Sri Govindaji temple of Manipur, the deity of Krishna and Radha are brought to the center of the Manda in the Ras Leela. But in the other temples, in the village temples of Manipur, we find that it is actually the small children who take the part of Krishna and Radha. Again, here I will show you a small excerpt, which I documented with the help of my friend Sadhna Srivastav in Manipur. This is again an excerpt from the Maharas in the Vijay Govindji temple of Manipur. I have spoken about the ritual of Ras Leela and the worship of Krishna through dance and music by the society of Manipur. But how did this form come to the stage? And how did this uh, form became a performance on stage? So it was our legendary gurus, Guru Bipin Singh, Oja Amubi Singh, Oja Amudon Sharma and others who were pioneers in recreating this Ras Leela for the stage. the rituals and they brought out those aspects which would be suitable for the stage. 
So it was very interesting to see how they converted the Ras Lila, which lasted for more than two hours, into a compact performing piece, a performing traditional piece for the stage. At the same time, we find that they gifted us with so many other compositions of Lord Krishna, compositions from Kabi Jayadeva's Geet Govinda and the other Vaishnavite Shastras. So Krishna as Bal Krishna, Krishna as the romantic hero, Krishna as the saviour and Krishna from the Mahabharata. Nini padam apagam gam gam nini padam apagam gam gam nini padam apanini padam apanini padam apagam gam gam da 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 sad pa sad da sad pa 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 sad pa sad sad pa pa sad sad pa pa sad sad pa ga pa ga pa ga re sa re ga ga ma pa sa 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 so there were so many innovative pieces finally which were choreographed by the gurus but the tradition of worship through dance and music has remained intact even now so it is a living tradition and at the same time it is a tradition on the stage where we find such beautiful compositions created by our gurus there is so much to talk about our tradition in manipur and uh, really the talas the different ragas and talas that the gurus have used and uh, the uh, the movements inspired from nature it's it's so beautiful uh, maybe that could be next time and uh, i thank the international uh, pragajyoti festival for giving me this opportunity to give a little insight in our vaishnava raslila tradition Thank you. Namaskar.